Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today we are going to continue the journey in learning Odeless and this tutorial is a continuation of the previous one. So if you haven't seen uh, tutorial number one, in this case, please do so. Uh, check it out because that shows you how to create a simple synth. And of course you might already know that in that case you don't have to but just to let you know it's a continue the tutorial is a continuation of the previous one before i continue i would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel thank you very much okay so today i'm going to show you how you can set up that synth that we created in the previous tutorial inside aum and therefore running um, Odlers inside AUM and I'm going to show you a way to actually share presets from the standalone version with the AUV3 version. So we are inside AUM so let's create an audio channel and let's establish very quickly uh, Odlers as our um, audio source like so. Now let's open it and let's link it here to the AUM keyboard okay because we want to use the keyboard to play some sounds. Now, if you click here on this button, as um, you would do in the standalone version, you don't go back to the selection of presets on the file folders. Instead, you have to click on this icon here in AUM to see the list of presets. And you can see that the list of presets is categorized by users and a factory. Indeed, I have created already a user um, um, preset called test media. If you move to uh, the left here and when you swipe to the left here, you, you will have this option to delete the preset, which in this case I will do. And that is the list of presets that you see the first time you open it. Okay. So you, you don't see really the presets that you have created in the standalone version. So how do you share between them? Okay. So let's click outside. Let's swipe from the bottom here and let's bring in click and hold and drag Odulus for the standalone version. And you can see it will open on top of AUM, okay? Then open the previous uh, preset that you have created. Use your fingers to ensure that um, um, you see them all. So you can see is there. And you can uh, uh, press on the keyboard, on the keys, on the keyboards and play that preset. And now click again on the symbol to go back to the list of presets. So, you know, it is there. Click and hold what it says tutorial, drag. And you can see as you're dragging inside the UM, there is a plus sign. Let go. And you have shared that preset. And now let's uh, move these to the uh, swipe to the right hand side so that we see more of the screen. Right, okay, let's zoom out inside the AUM. Again, you can still play using the keyboard inside the preset. But if you use the keyboard of AUM, you don't hear anything. And that's because you don't have any, a MIDI input, really. So let's zoom in a little bit, click somewhere and select Add. Now let's click on the search bar, type MIDI and then select this MIDI input tile. There it is. Now we need to establish some connection. First of all, the gate here, we take the gate and we connect here to the analog ADSR. In this case, you see the connection to the previous keyboard in terms of gate disappears. And then we connect the um, output here uh, from the MIDI input to the input of the VCO there. And again, you will remove the previous connection. Um, we don't have in this case a modulation in the original keyboard. We have these uh, Y or vertical modulations. So we are not going to use that for now. If you press some keys on the keyboard, you don't hear anything. You can see the gate signal going into the analog DSR, but you don't see anything going inside the VCO. You have a dial here, so click and drag, and then it will start to change. It will say poly two now, number of voices two. Okay, here, and it will say two here as well, right in terms of the gate. Now press on the keyboard. And you have sounds. Now, you so you have two notes of polyphony. And of course, if you try a third one, it will remove one of the two already holding. Now, be careful on the output here. So you might have to adjust the up and down, right? Because as you add voices, and you will increase the output. So you can go up to 16, you see the number 16 there, there, and also here on the output. Right, 
really, really nice. And it is as simple as that. So now let's zoom out a bit. Okay. So let's click and hold somewhere and then select everything like so. And then we select copy up there. Right. So we have copied the on uh, inside um, uh, the clipboard. Now, actually, I want to save this before I do anything else. So I go here and I click on the plus sign and then I give it test uh, uh, simple synth like that. Then I save it inside the plugin and it will appear there as well, which I can recall later. So again, make sure that everything is selected and copy. Now, let's swipe from the right to the left and we bring up the Odulu standalone version. We click on create a document, empty patch, click inside and select paste. There you are. We have now that preset um, also inside the standalone version. That's one way to copy and paste between the two of them. And of course, if you exit here, you go back to the file or preset viewers or browser, and you can see that the new preset is over there, which of course you can click on it and then change the name, right? Now, let's um, uh, remove that so swipe it to the right let's close these and let me show you that if i clear the session inside the um now i can create a new channel bring back in uh, odulus uh, four like so open it up and then connect it to the uh, um keyboard and then load the test simple preset like so there it is and now i can play <laughs> So as you can see, it's very, very straightforward to set up Odulus um, inside uh, AUM and connect it to your uh, MIDI keyboard. And now you know also how, uh, well, a way of how to share presets between the standalone and also the AUV3 version, which uh, might change in the future. But at the time of recording the video, this, uh, this is one way to do it. Okay, see you next time. Bye.